This is Ed Schultz, Susan Commentary, coming to you from Washington, D.C. One of the big stories in recent days has been the dust-up between Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders, the back and forth. All of a sudden, it's on health care. We got a battle on our hands, folks. And if uh, someone had said this six months ago, you would have thought, no way, no one's going to challenge the Clinton machine. The fact is, there is something happening out there, and the competition is great, which I think is great for the progressive movement in America. I think it's great for liberals. I think that there is a true vetting process, while on the other side, they're barbing back and forth. They're still trying to figure out whether Ted Cruz is going to be eligible to be, to be president of the United States, and we will get to that a little bit later in this production. But I want to start today with Lanny Davis, friend of mine. He's vice president of LAVIC. He's a longtime Clinton associate and friend for his insight on what has unfolded on the campaign trail. This is Hillary Clinton going after and pointing out that Bernie Sanders needs to pony up and tell the country exactly how he's going to pay for what he has supported all along is universal health care. Here it is. We have a difference on health care. I want to build on the Affordable Care Act. He's introduced legislation nine times that have laid out a very specific plan to take everybody's health care and roll it into a great big bundle and hand it to the states. But my view is we shouldn't be ripping up Obamacare and starting over. Lanny Davis, good to have you with us. Boy, do I agree with you, Ed, and it's nice uh, It's nice to agree with you even when we have uh, differences of opinion because our views on the issues are so close. We're both uh, progressive liberal Democrats. I say liberal still. <laughs> and it's really healthy for us to debate the issues. To hear Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton, two progressive Democrats, uh, all her life she's been a progressive Democrat. Bernie Sanders, I've always told you, I greatly admire and respect and have this debate on which is the best way to deliver universal health care, which they both have supported for years. And Bernie Sanders has a different approach. She supports President Obama's approach. And debate that. Let's hear it out. And there's lots of other issues that can be debated within the progressive ranks. And look at the contrast, as you just said, absolutely correctly, between debating issues when you're very close, but you're willing to debate different approaches to get to the same objective versus the Republicans slinging, literally slinging mud, personal attacks at each other. What a contrast. Well, I, I think it's important to point out, and I, and I think you, you have capsulized it well, Lanny, is that if you were to put both candidates side by side, as that they will do again in the debate, and you ask them if they want universal health care, they're both going to say yes. But then they have to detail out how they're going to get there. Hillary Clinton wants to build on Obamacare, or the Affordable Care Act, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and Bernie Sanders, we know for years, has advocated for Medicare for all, universal health care. But the twist in this is the claim by the Clinton camp, by the candidate herself, saying that Bernie Sanders would turn it over to people like Terry Branstad, the governor of Iowa. This is the response from uh, Bernie Sanders on that. Now she's attacking me because I support universal health care. In 2008, she was attacking Obama because Obama was attacking her because she supported universal health care. I would hope that Secretary Clinton will tell the American people, does she support universal health care? Well, I, I don't really think that's the issue. Uh, well, the it, issue is how, how you get the issue is how you get there. Your thoughts. Yeah. Excuse me for interrupting. Again, I love this guy. I love listening to him. I love his background. I love his commitment to progressive causes. And with their differences, but I, I, I love this guy. And I love Hillary Clinton. But he didn't address the question of what has he proposed in his legislation. He just said universal health care. So let's get to what the facts are. What he has said is, I would repeal the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, and I would replace it by a single-payer system which is uh, socialized medicine, and uh, Medicare for all means the government runs the medical system and all bills go to the government, as in Medicare, and Medicare pays doctors. Uh, she uh, would say, I'd rather have uh, the federal government running exchanges where competition occurs, where insurance companies bid for our business, and you have requirements for insurance companies like no uh, pre-existing conditions and a lot of other essential health care benefits have to be covered by all insurance companies. So it's a different approach, but they both want universal health care, but the government 
strongly intervening to make things right. But she is also right. What he's proposed is that 86% of his single-payer system would be funded by the federal government, 14% would be funded by every state, and that's in his legislation, and the states would run the Medicare for All per state. So it wouldn't be done out of the federal, uh, entirely federal government system. It would be uh, delegated to each of the states. Now, Okay, that, now that, that, that was, a, in, that in fairness... In fairness, that was a, a, a plan of yesteryear, just like Hillary Clinton had a plan of yesteryear when she tried to get health care back during the Clinton administration. But evolving to a position now, it, it's like she's taking an old piece of information and working over Bernie Sanders on that. Uh, it is true that Bernie, it is true that the Sanders campaign has not laid out the full plan on how they're going to pay for it. Uh, but I, I think that if you ask the majority of Americans, that's not their issue. It's not a question of whether they're going to get taxed more. It's a question of whether they really do want universal health care. And that's why a, a lot of people are are coming up with the conclusion that the only reason why Hillary's going down this road is because she has slipped in the polls and bur- they're neck and neck. Let's just say they're neck and neck. I mean, there's so many polls out there. I don't even know who's ahead, but I know that they're so close. What about that? Well, well, well look, you, you always state it fairly. People are coming up with a conclusion but not a fact. The conclusion is looking at facts and then deriving a conclusion. For her to question, precisely because it's now extremely competitive, and now she's she's got to try to smoke out what Bernie Sanders is really proposing and not allow him to, to stay with the generality of universal health care. Well, give us your details, how you're going to pay for it. But the point is, And whether she's right or wrong in what he's presently proposing or what he proposed in the past, you make a very fair point. If he's evolved into a different position now, more power to him. I don't blame him for that. But now I'm interested in details because he's competitive with Hillary Clinton. It's time to get into details. But let's just assume that the conclusion here is because it's now competitive and very close in Iowa and New Hampshire, and it's possible, as I said in a column six months ago, that Senator Sanders could win both of those, then it's fair game, and it's good for our party, as you started out by saying, to let's debate exactly the details, and let's see how we get to universal health care, whether there's a better way than President Obama's way. But that's okay. not hurting our party. That's helping okay. our party. It's two liberals debating. It's okay. not attacking each other personally. All right. Now there's an, uh, another one more issue I want to go at, Lanny, okay. and that's okay. that's guns. This is Hillary Clinton saying that Bernie's not totally where he needs to be on firearms. Here it is. No, I'm not nervous at all. I'm working hard, and I intend to keep working as hard as I can. I think we're in that stage of a campaign where we've each been introducing ourselves. We've been talking about our particular views on issues, and now it's time uh, to draw some contrast. One of the big ones, as you're aware, is on gun safety, where Senator Sanders has been a pretty reliable vote for the uh, gun lobby, and I have been standing against them for a long time. Here's Senator Sanders' response to that. I have a D minus, D minus voting record from the NRA. Correct. In 1988, I probably lost the congressional election because I said maybe we should not have assault weapons being sold in America. So to say that I'm kind of a supporter of the NRA is really a mean spirited and unfair uh, and inaccurate statement. Lanny, is it mean spirited and unfair? I don't, I'm sorry he used that expression, because when he said that President Clinton's personal behavior was a disgrace, and that's a personal issue of personal weakness that went on during the Monica Lewinsky time period, I thought that that was mean-spirited, but I didn't think he meant it to be mean-spirited. I think he just said it and probably regretted it. I don't think Hillary Clinton is making a personal attack on saying he was a reliable vote for the gun lobby, because let's look at facts. I'd rather use facts than descriptions. You know me, Ed. I don't like reliable vote. That's a description. Let's look at facts. He voted against the Brady Bill nine times. The Brady Bill was background checks. Not one time, nine times. Fact. He he voted and continues to vote for immunity for gun manufacturers from being sued if they recklessly sell guns. Recklessly being defined, they don't provide safety devices. Fact. 
Now, is that a reliable or unreliable vote? I accept his change in position as sincere, and I also respect the fact that when he voted against the Brady Bill, he was voting on behalf of his constituents. So I don't criticize. It's a fact that has to be taken into account. Okay. And I think the two of them debating at this level and avoiding personal attacks. I know Hillary Clinton loves Bernie Sanders and admires him personally. I know it personally, having heard her say it. I know that Bernie Sanders did a wonderful thing when he said the emails aren't what we should be talking about. He's a great man, and let's see these two debate the issues and not use personal characterizations or conclusions about what they intend. Let's just listen to them, and we'll have a great debate Sunday night. Lanny Davis, always good to visit. Appreciate your time on Ed Schultz News and Commentary. Love talking to you, Ed. Bye-bye. And one more thing, Lanny. I'm doing a TV show again. I'm going to be on RT America here in Washington, D.C., and guess what? You're going to be a guest. (laughs) Lanny Davis here on Ed Schultz News and Commentary.